Hi, I'm Patricia Davis Brown, owner of Patricia Davis Brown Designs. I'm an interior designer who appreciates good lighting and known for my lighting designs. Today I'm visiting a lighting experience center by Ripple Associates in Ultimate Springs, Florida. I really value a center like this because it helps me test my lighting theories and takes the guesswork out of it. I'm here today to discuss aesthetically lighting a space for the best outcome. Today we're taking a look at lighting art correctly. Lighting art takes a certain technique and of course it depends on, you're going to find out with this bit of an experiment here with the different color temperatures, how a, a painting uh, will react. We're going to look at two different paintings, one that's very vibrant in color and the other one that's a little more subdued and why the color temperatures um, used to light that piece will change the look of the art. So let's just talk about that. So this cool little fixture is Ether by WAC and it's an adjustable, it can, uh, it can change the angle. It's app controlled and gives you the flexibility of changing the, the Kelvin temperature. And it also controls the hues and you can get very creative to set the mood for the room. So right here, this is um, a 5000K. So it's a very cool Kelvin temperature. And you can see that the colors, it kind of lost its vibrancy. So if we drop down to a very warm 2700 Kelvin temperature, the colors become more uh, vibrant and you see the warmth because this particular painting has a lot of bright golds and reds. And so this would be a desirable look. Now, depending on the location of this piece of art, if it was in a family room, the 2700K would be my choice because this particular painting has a lot of hot colors, you know, there's red and there's gold. And so the 2700K brings out the vibrant colors that you see here. But let's just say we hung this at the end of a hallway, maybe seen on a master vestibule wall, and you're looking down towards that and you wanna bring a lot of attention to it from afar. So we could pop that up to a 3000K and you can see that now um, it becomes a real focal point at the end of a hallway. Here it is at 3500. Now, in my opinion, it's getting a little iffy here because I'm losing some of the vibrant colors. I think the 3000 is going to give me the pop that I need to see it at the end of a hallway. Now, if we go to a 4000, you start to see the colors wash away. And then here it is at 5000. I mean, in my opinion, it kind of ruined the beauty uh, of, the, of the art here because the colors are now fading out. As I said, it depends on the artwork that you're lighting as to how you're going to want to um, judge the color temperature that brings out the best in the piece of art. As we can see here, this is a more subdued um, painting than the last one we talked about. I have it at the 27K, and you can see the warm color temperature is bringing out the beautiful deepness in the golds and really showing the, the texture of, of the painting. And again, as we go up, you, you, you now have lost that. So this is at a 3000 Kelvin temperature and then 3500. And this is really telling of why it's so important to choose the right color temperature with art because you can see that this just lost uh, the beauty of that, of that painting. So you can see with the 5000 Kelvin temperature, it almost flattens out this textured painting and grays it out so it loses the beauty of the layers of the paint, of the warmth and the gold. And if we go back to the 2700K, that's really how we want to read that. 